Welcome viewers new and old. This series is a follow-up to my Ocarina of Time Abridged. If you're new to my videos and haven't seen my Ocarina of Time Abridged, prepare to be horribly confused. Wait, you're leaving Hyrule? Of course I'm leaving! The forest is filled with idiot fairies, my psycho girlfriend is still lurking in the shadows, and your existence in this time period makes no chronological sense. Needless to say, I am a little bit uncomfortable with all this. Oh, quit exaggerating, it's not that bad. Alright, is every fairy ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Muffins, 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 you stab and disembowel them until they start to shout. That's what it's all about. Second verse, you stick your thumb in. God, please stop singing. Hey, come on, it's my favorite killing song. Oh, like you never sing songs while you're killing people. No, I don't kill anyone. Ever. Especially families of innocent chipmunks. Hey, those chipmunks looked at me funny. You're a monster. And you are the worst horse ever. Why? What the heck have I ever done to you? You give your opinion. Now trot quietly like a good animal slave. Ah. <sighs> Just keep your chin up, Epona. Maybe if you walk far enough, you'll come across a glue factory. Alright, the target is in position. We're ready to execute Operation Jump Scare version 47 Delta. We've gone over entry points, backup plans, and a diagram outlining the attack has been distributed to each of us. Are there any questions? Ooh, ooh, sister, sister! What is it, Tail? I have a question. Alright, what is it? I am hungry. That isn't a question. But I am starting to digress my muffins from earlier. You mean digest your muffins from earlier? That is a better word. Tail, I am in the middle of an adventure fantasy and you are breaking the illusion. Besides, you just had muffins an hour ago. But you can never have too many muffins, sister. Look, Tail, ever since your brain hemorrhaged a month ago, all you do is talk about muffins. It was kind of funny at first, but now it's just getting repetitive. You mean like a bad running joke in an internet parody? Exactly. You need to eat other things, Tail, like hot dogs or carrots or something. There's other foods in the world besides muffins, you know. Other foods besides muffins? Sister... You're not making any sense. I think there's something wrong with your brain. Ugh. Oh no, my idiot fairy senses are tingling. Epona, keep an eye out for- Boo! Oh, oh god! Ha ha! Success! <laughs> Great work, you two! Tail, excellent job not screwing things up this time. I make no promises for the future. And Tattle, excellent attack plan! Thank you, Agent Skull Kid! Although I don't know if the diagrams and code words were really necessary, I mean, all you did was kinda jump in front of him and knock him over. Well, the way I see it, Skull Kid, we live in the middle of a godforsaken forest, isolated from contact with civilized society. Our lives are boring as hell, and these espionage fantasies are the only thing keeping me from committing suicide. Golly, Tattle, that sure is dark. Well, Mask, I did what you said. Now what? Steal from the Traveler! Take his possessions! I don't know, Mask. Stealing? Is that wrong? I don't know if I should do this. Yes, you should! Huh, I never thought of it that way. I'll do it! See if he has any muffins! Well, there's no money in his pockets, just a bunch of dismembered chipmunk heads. Wait a minute, what's this? Holy cheese, it's an instrument! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it makes noises! That is the most hilarious thing ever! <laughs> God, my head. <laughs> These single notes are so delightfully amusing! Um, Skull Kid? What? Ah! Um... I am not taking your ocarina. This is all a dream. Look, I'm all for robbing innocent passerbys as much as the next guy. You managed to knock me off my horse and steal from me while I was unconscious. I respect that. But you kind of picked the wrong guy to fuck with. While I hate to harm a fellow douchebag, I regret to inform you that this encounter is indeed going to end with violence. Uh-oh, what do I do? Steal his horse! Use it to escape! I don't know, Mask. I'm not sure if stealing his horse is a great idea. Yes, it is. I never thought of it that way. Ha! I am taking your horse! Tch, <laughs> good luck. Epona's my horse. She's not just going to let anybody ride her away. Get me out of here! Hey! Epona, what the hell? Get that green bastard away from me! Ah! <clears throat> Damn it, Epona. And after all that abuse, you still betray me? I am so angry I could front flip up these steps. Whoa! Is that a giant hole to another world? What kind of Alice in Wonderland bullshit is this? And you're sure he's not gonna follow us down the hole? Of course not! No sane human being would risk plunging to their death for a flute! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure! 
I am an immortal god! Well, I guess I can't argue with you. <laughs> Holy crap, he actually did it! Whoa, I'm alive? What the hell is this flower made of? Magic! Of course. Everyone's favorite cop-out is back with a vengeance. What in the name of me is wrong with you? What kind of psychopath recklessly jumps down a giant mysterious hole? The kind that wants his goddamn stuff back. All because I stole from you? I have a very strong sense of justice. What do you mean, sense of justice? I have a modified eye for an eye philosophy. You steal from me, and I poke your fucking eyes out. I still can't believe you'd risk your life for an ocarina. Dude, do you have any idea what you stole? That's the ocarina of time. So? So? I was gonna sell that shit for magic beans. You know how many kilos I could get for a legendary magical instrument? Wait, that's the ocarina of time? Why, with that kind of power in my hands, I could exterminate all life in Termina! Don't you already have the power to exterminate all life? Well, now I can exterminate all life twice as much! How does that even- Shut up, I'm evil! Excellent plan you got there, crazy talking demon mask. But there are just two little details you're overlooking. One, you have something I want. And two, this isn't the first time I've had to take down an evil overlord. Now, I don't care what kind of plans you have, or what you're trying to achieve, but until I get what I want, that shit ain't getting done. So I'm granting you this opportunity to just give me the ocarina, and walk away. You can accept my merciful offer, or learn a painful medical lesson in rectal sword removal. Fool! You dare address Majora with such arrogance? Mind slave! Attack him at once! Um, I don't want to. What? Why? Because he's mean. And scary. And I don't want a sword at my butt. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Great vessel you have there. Silence! Your personality may strike fear into this lesser being, but it does nothing of the sort to me! You think I'm afraid of you because you're a dick? I eat dicks for breakfast! Um... That didn't come out right. You know what I mean. You think this is the extent of my power? Oh, I can be a far more unlikable character. I gave you fair warning. Don't make me unleash my inner douche. Oh god, he can be even more of a douche? How is that even possible? Ha! Huh, a mere bluff. There is no level of douche the mighty Majora can't handle- <laughs> Oh god, too much douche! Oh, what do I do, what do I do? Quick, magic, magic! Poof. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Wow, I guess magic really is the answer to everything. Oh god, I'm a wooden midget! <laughs> hey! Hey, come on! Come on, stop it! Stop it! Stop laughing at me! Stop it! Hey! Hey! Hey, come on, man! Stop it! Ha! Huh, payback, bitch! Where's all of your power now, huh? Good luck stopping me in your current form! Come, slave! Let us leave this place! Wait, we're just going to leave him here? We're not going to kill him while he's weak and vulnerable? Of course! Why? Because that is what villains do! But couldn't he become a future threat? I am pretty sure he won't. Really? How can you tell? Because magic, that's how! Now shut up and follow my orders! Are you sure, Mask? I don't think leaving him here is a great idea. Yes, it is! I never thought of it that way. Damn it, that better not become a running gag! Mission objective! Protect the mask wearer! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> We're still laughing at your expense! Hey sister! Not now, Tail, I'm busy! What happens if I press this button? Wait, what button? The A button! Wait, don't press- Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Damn it, Tail! Of all the times to break the fourth wall, why now? Okay, relax, Tattle. You're smart. You're good at making plans. You just need to come up with an intelligent way to get through this door. Must smash door with forehead! Yeah. <laughs> Please don't give yourself brain damage. The last thing I need right now is another retarded fairy. Just try to calm down. You're trapped in here with me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh god, let me out of here! Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. Well, actually, you have a right to be afraid. You don't understand. It's my brother. Every second I'm not watching him, something horrible could happen. Oh god, if something's already happened- Relax, they left like 30 seconds ago. How much trouble could they possibly get into in 30 seconds? Hey Tail, Paddle's been gone for 30 seconds! <gasps> Let's have a bleach drinking contest! I'll keep score! Now if you'll quit spazzing for like 3 seconds, I can open the door for you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. They're probably long gone by now. Oh, this is just horrible! How the hell do you think I feel? Now I can't masturbate without getting splinters. Can't you see how serious this is? Do you have any idea what it's like to live with a brain damaged idiot? Actually, I- I don't have time for myself anymore. I've spent the last month of my life babysitting two morons in a demon with a god complex. Huh, sounds like you have a bigger idiot problem than I did. How did you cope with it? Well, let's see. This week, I was a secret agent. 
Last week, I was a space marine. And the week before that, I was an alien fighting scientist living in a post-apocalyptic dystopian future. Hmm, and not a single killing spree. Well, you certainly handled it better than I did. I just want to live a fulfilling life. I want to explore the world, do something grand, make some kind of meaningful contribution. But no, Tattle can't have her own life. Tattle has to be around in case Tail sets the forest on fire baking tree-flavored muffins. This is just a suggestion, but have you ever tried, you know, not giving a crap? I mean, it's done wonders for me. It's not that simple. Those two are trouble enough on their own, but with that mask telling Skull Kid what to do, who knows what could happen? Oh, but now they're gone, and I have no idea where they are, and now I'm going to have to go on some kind of crazy adventure to find them? Wait, I'll have to go on an adventure. A real adventure. <gasps> You're an adventurer! Oh god, it's enthusiastic. You still need your ocarina, right? We can team up and find them together. We'll be partners. Uh... Oh, this'll be great. I can find my brother and satisfy my need for adventure. I won't have to kill myself. What? So it's settled then. We'll travel together. Wait, hold on. Don't I get any say in- Nope. I know. How about lime? No. But I can be lemon. It matches our colors perfectly. We'd be the greatest superhero duo in all of Clock Town. But how in the hell is fruit juice a superpower? Okay, fair enough. We could be a police duo, our partners in crime. I don't give a crap. Ooh, what about pirates? We could be pirates. I could be Sparklebeard or something like that. Or, if we stuck with the Lemon Lime theme, we'd be impervious to the whole scurvy thing. And that would be a plus! We don't need a the- Yar! You know what? Here's an idea for an adventure theme. I'll be the pissed off veteran, and you can be the high strong sidekick that's annoying the crap out of him. Hmm, I don't know. It seems a little tired and cliched. I think a pirate theme would be much more original. You know, real adventuring is a lot different from your little adventure fantasies. And judging from your attitude, I'd say you're not the least bit prepared for what you're about to experience. Nonsense! I've gone over at least 37 separate adventuring scenarios in my head! There's no creature alive that can catch me off guard! No monster! No demon! No animal! No criminal! No- I- Ah! Salesman! Keep it away from me! Really? A salesman? Don't let him come any closer! He might try to sell you something at a price higher than its original cost! Tattle, salesmen aren't scary. They aren't even- Buy a mask! Oh jeez! Uh, sorry there, my friend, for my psychotic breakdown. Sometimes my desire to sell gets the better of me. What are you even doing here? Well, I hope you don't find me rude, but I've been following you. No, that doesn't make you rude, just incredibly creepy. Well, it's still better than rude, right? Rude's bad for business. Rude drives away customers. Rude gets you locked in the closet of failure. Anyways, I've become aware of your predicament, and I figured I'd take this opportunity to enlist the help of a worthy adventurer such as yourself. Really? You're not just trying to sell me something, are you? Oh, no, no, of course not. Unless, of course, you want me to. No, Link! Don't let him draw you into a false sense of security! That's how they get you. Tattle, I don't plan on buying from this guy. Are you sure? Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, he's pressuring the buyer! Tattle, relax. I think I'm a little too intelligent to be manipulated by it. And that'll be 40 rubies! How the hell did you do that? Years of pressuring and harassing customers. I worked at a Walmart once, a used car lot or two, but I got the majority of my experience working at GameStop. It certainly shows. I didn't even want that stupid mask. Oftentimes, they never do. So what was all that about enlisting my help? Well, you see, my sociopathic young client, we both appear to share a common foe. One who has stolen from us both items of great value. Skull Kid? That is correct. I understand he has stolen from you your ocarina, and from me he has stolen a mask of great and terrible evil, the likes of which has the power to destroy this entire world. And you want me to get your mask back? If you're able to retrieve your ocarina in addition to my mask, I can return you to your original form. Oh, sweet. But you need to act now. This limited time offer is only available for three days. Why? What happens after three days? We all die! You seem oddly happy about the idea. I apologize for my misleading facial expression. You see, this here is a permanent smile. I'd express concern, but then my face would bleed. Why would anyone give themselves a permanent smile? Smiles boost sales figures by approximately 20%. At least that's what my father used to say. You see, my father was a salesman and a fiend. And one day, he went off a little crazier than usual. He said, why so serious? You can't sell masks with a frown. Let's put a smile on that face. So he grabbed a knife. Um... And he walked towards me. Uh... And he fished out the keys that he dropped down the sink. Um... Wait, what? And then he took me to the local acting academy to help work on my sales pitch. Oh. Well, that's not nearly as bad as I thought. But then I failed the lesson, so he dipped my face in a chemical vat. Oh. 
So, long story short, my face is contorted into a permanent smile. It hurts like hell, but at least it's good for business, right? <laughs> you need serious psychological help. Yes, the child sociopath who thinks he's God is telling me I need psychological help. Hey, it's not crazy if it's true. Well, this is where we part ways, my angry young friend. I thank you for your assistance, and I apologize if I scared your little fairy friend over there. Stay away from me! I like my money! I recommend finding the observatory. It'll give you a great vantage point. You can use the telescope to help locate Skull Kid. So I wish you good luck on your adventure and in all your future endeavors. And I personally couldn't give a crap what happens to you. <laughs> oh, you are just like my father. So, fear of salesman, huh? I need to remember to exploit that in the future. Never do that again! I can't believe you actually bought from him! Eh, all my rubies are counterfeit anyways. Oh, that's a relief. You had me scared there for a second. So come on, to the observatory. Chop chop. Why are you asking me? Because you live here, and I don't? I live in the forest surrounding Clock Town, not the town itself. I don't know where anything is. Damn it. Well, I guess I could always ask a random citizen. Um, wait, Link, maybe you shouldn't- Hey, do you know where the observatory is? Because I need to find a telescope, and I, I was wondering if- HATE! 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 Should I just walk away, or- HATE! Alright, I'll ask someone else! Hey, do you know where I can find the observatory? What, so you can blow it up in the name of your god? What? I know what you're up to, you fried dinker nut eating bastard! Controlling this nation's supply of wood! Stealing our rubies with your goddamn casinos! What are you talking about? I bet you're unemployed too, aren't you? I'm a child! A child that sells drugs on the street! That part is actually quite accurate. What the hell? That's seven people in a row that physically and verbally assaulted me for being a Deku scrub. And only two thirds of the things they said about me were actually true. And that is only because I am coincidentally a terrible human being. I tried to warn you earlier. You see, the people of Clock Town are just a little teensy bit... Racist? Yes, incredibly racist. So is there anyone I can talk to who won't try to spit on me? Our best bet is to scrape the bottom of the social barrel. We need to speak to someone as equally rejected as we are. Someone so out of touch with societal norms, they'd be completely oblivious to everyone's mutual hatred of Deku scrubs. Like that guy over there! Hi. Um, uh, hey, hey! That guy over there is setting squirrels on fire! I hear purple on your breath! He seems like a guy who knows where things are. Let's talk to him instead! Hey, buddy! Hate! Or not. Link, just talk to the green guy. I'm still here. You're not going to expose your penis or something, are you? Not today. I'm on probation. I don't suppose it's any use asking you where the observatory is. Oh, if it's directions you need, I have exactly what you're looking for. I am a map salesman after all. Ah, salesman! Wait, you sell maps? Of course I do. Why else would I wear children's clothing and float around on a balloon? Of course, how silly of me. Here. Yeah. Take this map, open it slowly, savor every moment. It could be all yours for only 20 rubies. Okay, I guess we have a deal. Wait, you're actually buying my map? Um, yeah, what's the- Somebody purchased one of my maps! Ooh, I'm so excited I could just- Did- did you just- Come sparkles, yes. Link, knee him in the balls and run! Way ahead of ya! <laughs> Wait! Come back! I want you to knee me again. Great, now I'm developing a fear of salesmen. Oh my god, people! Uh, hey there, friend! I don't get too many visitors around here. Hmm, I'm surprised you're not racist like everyone else. Well, when you spend as many hours alone as I do, you don't exactly have the luxury of hate. I take whatever interaction I can get. No one ever really comes in here that often. I guess stargazing isn't all that popular a hobby, you know? You want pizza bites? I have pizza bites. Um, no, I'm... I'm good. Are you sure? Can I get you some Kool-Aid or, or Dr. Pepper or... or any other beverage that'll keep you from leaving? I just need to look in your telescope for like two minutes. Yeah, telescope, that's pretty cool. Or we could play a board game. I have this one game where you try to pull these objects out of this injured guy, and when you mess up it makes this really annoying buzzing sound and it's so loud and obnoxious it starts giving you migraines, and you're so afraid of hearing the sound you get all tense and irritable and you're in a shitty mood for like an hour. Everyone loves it! Alright, sounds like a plan. You go get the game and I'll wait for you right here. Oh wow, really? Oh sweet. I'll be right back. Okay, Ted, let's use this telescope and get out of here before he comes back. 
Come on, that's kind of mean. I mean, all he wants to do is spend time with someone. Okay, I'll leave and you can spend time with him. I also have Monopoly! Let's use that telescope and get the hell out of here. All I am saying is, sure, he bakes both cupcakes and muffins. But you can't have both. To make one is to disgrace the other, and that is blasphemy. But doesn't crucifixion seem a little harsh? That pink bitch deserves to die! Okay, sorry! How is it that your idiot friend is more intimidating than you? Because he's really threatening looking? Or have you considered it's just because you are a spineless weakling? Huh, I never thought of it that- SHUT. UP! Hey look, it's my sister! And that other guy! What? Give me the ocarina! How on earth did you find out where- Telescope. Ugh, confound these infernal telescopes! When I rule the world, first order of business, eliminate all telescopes! Can we skip the villain monologuing bullshit, please? I haven't slept or eaten in three days. I feel like a college student during finals week. Ha, <laughs> that joke gets close to home for me. Hey sister, what is it, Tail? He said swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, and then something about think finding the ones who are there? What? What? I overheard Mass talking to Skull Kid about something, but I don't know what most of the words mean. So first question, um, what is a canyon? Silence, you stupid fairy! <gasps> Tail! Sweet, hit him again. Oh man, sorry about that, buddy. No, that's okay, I don't, um, I, I don't really register pain. Don't abuse Tail, he doesn't know any better! Then tell him to stop asking stupid questions! Can I at least ask what a swamp is? I said silence! Stop hitting my brother! No, keep going! Did anyone hear a loud snapping sound that time? I heard a loud snapping sound. Fine, so he revealed some important information. What does it matter? You've already run out of time. In just minutes, the moon shall fall and engulf this world in flames! What's the point of destroying the world anyways? How are you supposed to rule the world if everybody's dead? You got a point, you didn't really work this out. SILENCE! Why did you hit him that time? You didn't say anything! Well, I'm not going to hit myself. But why hit Tail? Honestly, hitting him is kind of fun. Okay, everything is getting all fuzzy. Seriously, stop! Stop it! <laughs> ah! Link, do something! Why? This is hilarious. Link, we have like one minute until the moon crashes. Ugh, fine. What? Do you plan to harm me? You can't harm the invincible Majora. There is nothing in the universe that can hurt me. Not wind. Not water. Not fire. Not even coffee of the highest temperatures. Kryptonite? That Superman bitch, I'm better than him. Not wooden baseball bats. Not metal <sighs> baseball bats. Not well, spikes. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Bats. Not blunt sticks that look like baseball bats. Not- wait, is that a bubble? <laughs> Ah, oh, Bubbles! My one weakness! Got it. Wow, I honestly did not expect that to work. Where in the world did you get bubble powers? Great fairy. I still wish she would have given us a cooler power, though. Yeah, but then again, she wasn't exactly in her prime when we found her. <laughs> hey, great fairy, can you- Muffins! God damn it! Wait, now we just have to figure out how to- Whoa. Whoa what's going on? Why is everything turning white? Zelda? Link, play the Song of Time! Why? It'll teleport you to safety! Really? You could never do that before. Why now? You know, because the, the fairies and the pi pixie dust, happy thud, madge, just play the song. Okay. Link, 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 I said the moon's about to crash, we need a plan! Hold on, I have an idea. Really? Yeah, I just need to equip my ocarina. My ocarina. Link, what is that? That's not how instruments work! Link, what are you doing? Look, there's this magical song. If I play it, it might get us out of here. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! But before we go, there's still one thing I need to do. What is it? Majora! Your plan will never come to fruition! Silence! <laughs> now there's red stuff coming out of my eyes. <laughs> okay, now we can go. Damn it, Link. Poof. Whoa, check it out. We're back at day one. This is incredible! Your ocarina has the power to turn back time! I've never experienced anything like this before! Wow, just think of all the things we could do with this ability! I know! We have the power to completely alter the future, to save Termina from its inevitable fate! We must use this power responsibly, Link! We must use it to save this land from destruction, to combat Majora's tainted magic, to acquire that mask and return it to- Wait, where'd he go? So you're telling me that as long as I have this stamp on my hand, you can keep track of all the rubies I've deposited over time? That's right, sir! Link, what are you doing? Cheating the banking system. Link! No, it's okay, I'm the hero. Hold on, Xana. In your Ocarina of Time series, Link couldn't play the Ocarina. So how come he can in this game? For that matter, how does he even know the Song of Time?
And there you are, good as new. Sweet, I missed you, splinterless dick. And now for your part of the bargain. Ah, right, the mask. You did say you had it, didn't you? Yeah, funny story about that, actually. A story, you say? Actually, it's less of a story and more of a confession of the fact that I flat out lied to you. Ah, I see. So what you're saying is you don't have my mask. You see, the retarded purple fairy seemed to suggest that the only way to defeat Majora and obtain the mask would be to travel to four different regions of the world. And based on my past experiences, travel usually leads to temples, temples usually lead to adventure, and adventure is something I have no intention of ever embarking on ever again. So what can I say? It's been a hoot, but now that I'm a human again, I think I'm just going to... Um, what's with the face? Oh, nothing. I just realized I won't be requiring your services any longer. Oh. Really? Well, why- Cause I'M GONNA FUCKING MURDER YOU! <laughs> SUFFER! <laughs> SUFFER YOU SON OF A BITCH! SUFFER! Now let that be a warning to you. You... You... You almost choked me to death! And if you fail me again, I'll finish the job! Where the hell did that come from? I tried to be civil with you, Link. I tried playing the role of the innocent salesman, but now I feel you're leaving me with no choice. You have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? I don't think you know who you're dealing with, my valuable pawn. No. You think you can just choke me and get away with it? I'm gonna take my sword and- Wait. What just happened? I'm sorry, did I just employ a scene transition? Uh, what? So continue, my little you scrub client. You were talking about doing what with your sword? I- <laughs> How did you do that? You seem a little tense, my friend. How about some music to help you relax? I don't want music! I want answers! How are you... Okay, where did that piano even come from? Um, Link, I think we should just do what he says. Fuck that, I'm getting the hell out of here! <laughs> Welcome back! Holy shit! If I were you, I'd take your fairy friend's advice. What's going on? Don't you see, Link? No matter how hard you try, you can't harm me. And you can't run away. Because reality is my bitch, and I keep my pimp hands strong. What the hell are you? I already told you, Link. I'm a salesman. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. You see, Link? I told you salesmen were evil. <laughs> you silly fairy, I'm not evil. I'm trying to stop Majora. He wants to destroy this world, and I wish to prevent that. Then do it yourself. You can alter reality. What the hell do you need me for? My contract keeps me from meddling any further than I already have. I don't expect you to understand. There's only one thing you do need to understand. I need that mask. You see, Majora's mask was once used in ancient pagan rituals. It possesses a power so evil and so great that the mere mention of it causes flashback cutscenes to burst into flames. A power that destructive is too unstable to be left in the hands of someone as weak-willed as Skull Kid. And the mere thought of such a pathetic worm possessing that power just makes me so ANGRY! I had to do something about it. Okay, you want to stop Majora, I get that. But when I give you the mask, what are you gonna do? I just need it, okay? I need it! And I'd prefer that you didn't ask any further questions on the subject. Okay. I do sincerely apologize for recruiting you against your will. And I understand this must be quite confusing. I trust it'll all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, all you do need to know is this. I'm the only thing standing between you and your way back home. So you can cooperate with me or be crushed to death with the rest of Terminus population. Fine, I'll do whatever you want. Excellent. Now that we're on the same page, you can head to the swamp and begin your journey. Don't come back until you have my mask. And remember, if you fail me again, I won't just kill you. I'll rape you. What? Oh my- Mentally. Oh. Well, I guess- And physically. Why? At the same time. No! Alright, Link. Are you ready for adventure? I can honestly say I have never been more motivated. Then let us be off! We'll make a straight shot for the southern swamp. There shall be no detours, no distractions, no temporary loss of forward momentum, no deviations from our intended- What's with the tree? Where? What tree? That tree. Hey, I remember this tree. Skulka drew this picture shortly after Tail and I first met him. How many years ago was that? It was two and a half months ago. Wow. He was a terrible artist. Ah, uh, yeah. It really makes me think back to the good old days. You know, before he was possessed by a demonic costume piece. Hurry up, Tail! We need to get home! Slow down, sister! Why on earth are you in such a hurry? A little rain never hurt anyone! I know. It's just that it's getting late and I need to- Take your antidepressants? I know how you always tend to forget these things, so I thought ahead and brought your medication with me. Aw, you're the best little brother ever. What would I ever do without you? 
I don't know, probably go insane. <laughs> oh, Tail. I love how you're always looking out for me. And I love the fact that you're inexplicably British. Oh, come on now, I'm not that British. Of course you are. You're the most British person I know. And everyone knows that having a British accent automatically makes you super intelligent. Well, I did recently obtain my PhD in Tamanian history. Oh, brother. You and your academic accomplishments. Now come on, we should go find shelter before this storm gets any worse. We'll stay in the field overnight and make our way home in the morning. Good idea. What about this log? Excellent spot. I'm sure we'll be completely safe. Here. Hi. Hi. Friends. Um, no, we have enough friends, thank you. That wasn't a question. <coughs> <coughs> We're gonna have so much fun when you regain consciousness. Yeah, it was kinda creepy at first, but once the Stockholm Syndrome set in, we became the best of friends. And before we knew it, he was engraving the symbol of our friendship on that very tree. What do you guys think? I drew it for you. No mother would want that on their fridge. Stick to your day job. I don't have a day job. Then find one, now. <laughs> Soon we were doing everything together, from casually sitting, to stalking, to small-scale vandalism. <laughs> Skull Kid, I don't think you should be recklessly cartwheeling like that. You can't tell me what to do! Haha! -ha! <laughs> oh shit! My cabbages! I am so sorry. Nowhere I go is safe, nowhere! <laughs> we never did find out why that guy was selling cabbages in the middle of a field. It almost seemed comedically placed when you think about it. Well, I'm sure somebody found it hilarious. Probably. So what happened? Everything seemed all hunky-dory with you guys. When did the shit hit the fan? Well, it started when Skull Kid tried experimenting with a new kind of game. And things just kind of went south from there. <laughs> Look, we could still save him. Maybe he packed an adrenaline needle or something. I told you Fire Tranquilizer Dots at Strangers was a terrible game idea! Now we have a middle-aged man with puncture wounds ODing in the woods! How are we supposed to explain this to the authorities? Will you guys calm down? I am trying to focus on- Hey, check out this mask. I am going to wear it! <laughs> I don't know. There's something very eerie about that mask. Are you sure that thing is safe? Your mother wears masks in hell! Seems legit. So Skull Kid put on the mask, the mask told him to leave the salesman and run, Skull Kid said he never thought about it that way, and it's pretty much been a downward spiral ever since. What happened afterwards? We spent the next month or so roaming the woods committing petty crimes. And that's pretty much all we did until you showed up. Well, thank you so much for that oh-so-engaging backstory. I've enjoyed this exposition. And I'm sure the audience did as well. Either that or they're pissed off we wasted this whole episode explaining things instead of actually accomplishing something. So do you think we should end the episode here? I mean, if you really want to continue... Well, let's just see what we have coming up. I'm sure it's nothing to- Oh, God! No! No, 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 no! God, no! Yeah, this is a good place to stop. All right, then. All we need now is a good ending joke. You heard her, Xana. Do something funny. Like what? You guys were supposed to be at the Deku Palace by now. I don't have anything planned. I don't know, just make something funny happen. Hmm... Ah! Damn it, Tail! Ow! Why did you just hit me? I don't know! You want me to help your sister? I haven't heard from her since she left. She's been in the forest for hours now, and I'm starting to worry. That's why I need your help. And why the hell should I care about your ugly sister? Well, she's been in there for quite some time, and at her age, who knows what could have happened? What if she's injured? Could you imagine her? Lying helplessly on the ground, completely vulnerable to attack, no one around for miles to hear her screams of pain, and he's leaving my store. Huh, you must have gone to go help her. Money! Hand it over! Oh god, why? Hey there, buddy, you looking for work? We saw you rob that old person back in the woods, and we figured, hey, you'd be perfect for this job. You guys seem kinda shady. She's got a point. Why the hell should I trust you? Well, we're willing to pay you lots Consider of- Consider it done! I, I didn't even tell you how much we're paying. <laughs> It's money! I don't care how much. <laughs> Silly. Alright then. You think you can sneak into the Deco Palace and bust a friend out of prison? Piece of cake. <laughs> that wasn't anything like cake at all. There must be some other way in. Maybe there's a hidden entrance around the back. Eh, don't worry. I already have a plan. Wow, already? What is it? Beans! You're doing drugs?! It's the answer to everything! This is your plan?! Well, how do you solve problems? I assess the situation and develop a well-calculated plan of action! Interesting. For me, it's either stabbing, slicing, or this. You gonna buy some beans or what? If I do, do you promise to stop using that malfunctioning lawnmower you call a voice box? Okay! And he continues to make words. Here you go, man. 
One bag of beans! Thank you, now please shut the hell up. Link, I am begging you, stop. That drug is too unpredictable. Too late, I already ate one. Damn it, Link! I am warning you, if you eat one more bean- And I just finished the entire bag. The entire- Oh my god! I'll be fine. Oh my god, Link, please! You have to spit it out or throw it up or something, I mean- you just ate an entire bag of beans. There is nothing good that can possibly come of this. Is the monkey ready for execution? Yes, your majesty. Excellent. Then begin the... Wait, who the hell is that? Hey, everybody. How oh, great, he can make words again. Where am I? You're in the throne room. Oh, sweet. Was I stealthy? Well, let's see. You burst through the front gate like the goddamn Hulk, obliterated roughly half the palace's defense force with your bare hands, and then, for reasons I hope never to comprehend, you took one of the soldiers, raped him in the eye socket, and then proceeded to eat him alive. So to answer your question, were you stealthy, what the hell do you think? Well, let's look at the positives. Wood does contain fiber, and a healthy dose of fiber is part of a balanced diet. Are you justifying cannibalism? I don't know what you're so mad about. We got inside, didn't we? But at what cost? About... 45, 50 rubies? Not the cost of the drugs! I'm failing to see your point. Excuse me! What the hell is that sound? Who dares enter the chamber of the almighty Deku King? Oh god, my ears! Who dares enter- Ow! A okay, why are you- Ow! Don't continue talking! Okay, can someone just like, communicate with this guy for me or something? I can, your majesty. The king wishes to know why it is you've invaded his royal chambers, and he demands to know your intent. Are you friend or foe? Well? What say you? Respond, trespasser! Dude, your voice! What? This guy is freaking awesome, man! What are you talking about? D say something hilarious! Hilarious? Like what? <laughs> Guy. <laughs> this guy, this guy, I love this guy. Uh, he should be in more episodes. Why do people always find me funny? I've done nothing even remotely entertaining. My name is Joe. I work as a palace guard on a modest salary. I live in a middle class home with my wife and daughter. Aside from a few defining character traits, I'm a relatively average individual. <laughs> what a nut job. Are you going to explain why you're here? Do I have to talk to you? Can I listen to the other guy? Look, if we keep relaying messages back and forth, this dialogue is going to take an eternity. But your voice sounds like... What, what do you sound like? Nails on a chalkboard? Nah. A dying cat? Better. Steven! What? What the hell? I just want to contribute. You're demoted! Oh. Okay, how about dying cat being nailed to a chalkboard? It's not your best insult, but I like it. What do you want from me? That's just the way I talk. How can anyone with a voice that grating be the leader of anything? We Deku Scrubs take great pride in the enormity of our nasal passages. Thus, I have taken my rightful place as king of these proud people, for being the most nasally individual in all the land. I'm starting to understand the racism. Now speak, outsider. What brings you to our royal chamber? I'm looking for a monkey. The prisoner? His execution is scheduled for today. Execution? Yes. He must be punished for his crimes. Let's not be hasty now. Isn't execution a bit harsh? I mean, what did he do? Steal some money or something? He murdered my daughter! Misunderstanding? It seems pretty clear cut to me. This guy was dating my daughter for nearly a month. Then one day he takes her deep into the woods, she goes missing, and we find him in a rundown shed brandishing a machete and laughing maniacally. Your daughter was dating a monkey. She's weird like that. I don't know. That's not the point. Okay, I know this seems bad. No shit! Just let me talk to him, okay? <laughs> I'm sure this is all just one of those big, crazy, cartoon misunderstandings. Yes, I wanted her dead! I wanted her head on a plate and her blood on my skin! Okay, so you wanted to kill her, in the past tense, but now you don't want to do it anymore and you want to make up for it. No, you fool! My work is still incomplete! I told her to wait for me in the temple. I told her I'd be back for her. I went to my shed to fetch my machete, but the damned guards jumped me before the task was complete. Now let me down. I need to kill that bitch. It's the only way I can achieve an erection. Hmm, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Your thoughts? That monkey is clearly insane. If you let him go, there's no doubt he's going to kill again. Yeah, that's true. But I really do want that money. Link, this is bigger than money. Nothing good can come of releasing this man, and you know that. 
I know the kind of person you are. I know you're not one to turn away a prophet. But you have to ask yourself, is unleashing this monster upon the world really worth a few extra rubies in your wallet? Just think about that for a second. I'm telling you this man is innocent. Innocent, you say? Fuck it, just... J just fuck it. In fact, not only do I know that she's alive, I know exactly where to find her. It's just a quick trip to the nearby temple. Very well. Return my daughter to this palace alive, and I shall release your monkey friend. But be warned, this temple is guarded by a mighty warrior. One who combats his foes with the power of... Butterflies. Butterflies? Butterflies! <laughs> butterflies. Oh god, butterflies! Link? Butterflies. You alright? My masculinity. It's gone. Why? Because you got your ass kicked by butterflies? Don't say it out loud! You still won. Can we just grab this stupid princess and leave? I hope to god she's more tolerable than her father. Well, this is all we know about her so far. Her father is the king of an entire race, she has a tendency to go missing now and again, and she enjoys fornicating with members of another species. I don't know, what do you think she'll be like? Oh, crap. CROSS SPECIES SEX! Nothing about this surprises me in any way. She's, um... interesting. Great, three obnoxiously voiced characters in a single episode. This has gotta be a freaking record or something. I wait here for monkey boyfriend! That's nice. We make plans! Fornicate in open! Wildlife shall watch in awe! Well, there's been a change of plans. Your boyfriend's being held prisoner back at the palace and we've been sent to take you there. Me find you sexy! You join us! Create epic threesome! Ugh. No! Can we deal with this at the palace? We're running out of moon time. Road to palace too far! You carry me! Carry you? But there's gaps to jump and enemies to fight and- You want me to carry you? How do you expect me to swing my sword while I'm carrying your fat ass? Looks like we're gonna need more people. If you want, I can head back to the palace and round us up an escort party. Hold on, I got a faster idea. Faster? Faster how? I'm gonna put her in a bottle! Y you're going to put her... in a bottle. Did I stutter? Link, you can't put a living creature her size in a bottle. Sure you can, it's magic. Now get over here, princess. This is a bad idea. No, it's not. I just need to push her like this. Nah, we just need to doing? get you I through yeah, this you're hole. My Hold on, this isn't working. Nah. Let's try cutting this off. Nah. Nah, this leg is just getting nah, away. And nah. let's try this hammer. Nah. And another smack. Nah. And another one just to be nah. safe. And there we go. Link, I think she's dead. Nah, she's fine. She's not talking. She's just shy. No, she's just dead. Well, my work here is done. Back to the palace. Link, you just killed the princess. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure you did. You're worrying too much. This is a bad idea. I got this. I'm warning you, Link. This can only end badly, and you're already here. Did you find my daughter? Yep, she's right here. I can't watch. Come on out, princess. I think I'm going to be sick. My daughter. Okay, now if it's any consolation, she was alive when I found her. KILL HIM! Whoops. Are you happy now? You killed them all. They're all dead. Every Deku scrub in this swamp is now dead. Well, everyone except Joe. You killed my friends and family! I couldn't bring myself to kill that guy. He's just too funny. Am I right, Joe? I want to die! What the... What the... Oh, uh, the thing the... Oh, you. That doesn't change the fact that you've doomed their entire race to extinction. To be fair, it was in self-defense. I didn't plan to kill their entire race when I showed up, it just... kinda happened. What was the point of even meeting the princess or talking with the king if you were just gonna slaughter them all anyways? Hey, even I have my limits. I draw the line of genocide. Too much cleanup, too many economic variables, and besides, I don't discriminate. I distribute my hatred equally. And to think, all this happened because a few shady monkeys offered you some cash. Yeah, the world is funny like that. Yet, at the end of the day, I can't help but feel like we're forgetting something. You think there's something we overlooked? Well, it is possible. We did get pretty caught up in all this monkey business. <laughs> Thanks! No problem, man! I don't know exactly what it is we're forgetting, but something tells me it's really important. Huh, I wonder what that could be. Hello? Where the heck is that hero? Oh shit, the story!
I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill this baby! No! You're not killing this baby! Why not? It's a baby! How could you even think of killing a baby? Because! Listen to it! Yeah, so? It's loud! Really? Really loud! Yes, Link. Babies cry. Babies are loud. But dead babies aren't! You see my point, Tattle? Link, you can't just kill this kid! What would the Gorons think? It's okay! You can kill it! See? Even the Gorons are fed up with this shit. They're just frustrated, Link. They don't really mean it. I'm serious! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Set it on fire! We'll look the other way! We promise! Just make it shut the fuck up! Face it, Tattle. They want him dead. I want him dead. Why can't we just kill it? Because it's wrong. This is a comedy show. Killing babies isn't funny. I think it's funny. That's because you're insane. Besides, this is Xana's show. He'd never stoop as low as to kill a baby for the sake of a joke. Isn't that right, Xana? Hmm. What? You'd never make a joke about killing a baby, right? Eh, probably. Yeah, you see? He... Wait, probably? Okay, well that depends. Like... How fat is the baby? Oh my god! See? The guy's got a point. We're not killing babies. End of story. Then how do we shut it up? Not by killing him! Look, I just want to get to the temple, okay? But that huge jackass keeps blowing me off the mountain! I mean, my god! If I wasn't the protagonist, that fall would have killed me! Now I'm stuck running around trying to figure out what to do! I'm tired, I'm frustrated, this baby's the only lead I have, and he won't stop crying, and if I have to kill this baby to shut him up, then god damn it, I'm gonna do it! And nobody would blame you! I understand you're frustrated, Link, but we can't have you killing potentially significant characters. Maybe if we calm him down, he can help us get to the Snowhead Temple. Okay, and how do we do that? I'm sure his father would know what to do. In case you weren't paying attention, his father's missing. That's why he won't shut the hell up! Then all we have to do is find his father. Problem solved. Oh. Oh, shit. Yikes. So... Do you think he's- Oh yeah, he is definitely dead. Wow. Where do we even go from here? I say we turn to plan B. What's plan B? Talk to random villagers? Yeah. Yeah, that- that seems like a good idea. So Link and Tattle traveled forth, seeking advice from the area's residents. Their journey eventually took them to the home of a local blacksmith. What's that? You don't need a narrator to explain this to you? Well, I don't give a shit. Hey, can I get some help? <coughs> what? What did he say? Pay no attention to my friend. His words are of no concern to you. I'm trying to figure out a way to get to the Snowhead Temple. Can you help me out? My friend, I'll be more than happy to provide you my services. But before we begin, I must ask you this question. And I want you to answer honestly. Um, okay. Look at my nipples. Is this not the finest set of nipples? You've ever seen on a man. What? I can see you are impressed. What the hell are you talking about? I can see the confusion in your eyes. You want to ask me about my clothing, do you not? Not really! This uniform, you see, was custom made to reveal my beautiful tits in all their splendor. Or you see, these nipples are a God-given gift for a man to possess such glorious tits and hide them from the world would be an act of blasphemy. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what did he say that time? He said, mind your own goddamn business, that's what he said! So, is this guy like your gimp or something? Ew. Dude, no. That would be totally gay. And showing me your nipples isn't gay? This, my friend, is not about sex. It is about serving God. <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth! I don't feel like we should be here anymore. I think we should go. Ah, uh, great. Another dead end. Yep, looks like it. Wait a second. Dead. Hmm. It was then that Link had a brilliant idea. He raced towards the tomb of the great Darmani. Determination in his eyes. I am Darmani, proud warrior of the Goron race. Holy crap, you're a ghost! Well... Yes. Of course I'm a ghost. That's why you came here, isn't it? To talk to me. Actually, no! I just came here to rob your grave and score some quick cash, but oh my god, this works out perfectly! You died trying to reach Snowhead, right? We're attempting the same thing. Do you have any advice? 
Our large friend has been brainwashed by dark forces. He cannot be reasoned with, unless that I had to learn the hard way. I recommend sedating him with a Goron lullaby. You can learn the song from our village elder. The elder? Isn't that that guy with the whiny ass kid? Yes. Dude, the elder is dead. Wait, what? You can't be serious! How did he die? He froze to death. Dude, that is grimdark as fuck! I know, right? His son knows the song too. I suppose you could learn it from him. That's the problem. The kid won't stop crying. We need a way to calm him down. His father and I were close. I would comfort him myself if I were still alive. Sadly, I cannot help you. If only I had succeeded in my mission, but instead I was vanquished. My people were counting on me, and I failed them. That's true. You did kind of go out like a bitch. Now I remain here, trapped in this purgatory, bound to this world by my shame and regret. If only there were a way to heal my sorrows, so that I may finally ascend and leave this world in peace. Well, I'm not the best at cheering people up, but I can play you this song. What song? Did you just play- OH GOD WHAT'S HAPPENING?! Did you just harvest his soul and seal it in a mask? Yep. By playing Firework by Katy Perry. It's a pop song. All pop songs have the power to harvest souls. Now we can wear his face and pretend to be him. You were supposed to encourage him so he could rest in peace. I did encourage him. It's a motivational song. That song's not motivational, it's condescending. Well, condescending is all I know. I made sparks first from his tits. What more do you want from me? Now stop complaining and help me commit identity fraud, goddammit! So using his newly acquired power of identity theft, Link was able to console the child and learn the Goron lullaby. That's not exactly how it happened in the game. <laughs> Then, using the song, Link was able to incapacitate the large Goron, enter the temple, and defeat the evil creature inside. And who's been providing this narration, you may ask? It's me, Giant Number Two. I've been narrating this episode the whole time. What a shocking twist. Are we done here? The Giant thanked our two heroes and wished them luck on their journey. Why the hell are you doing that? I'm fucking bored, the Giant replied. Well, we're done with the Snowhead region. You ready to head to the Great Bay? Almost. There's just one last thing I need to take care of. Your father is dead. Okay, let's go. Dude! I hate this baby! <coughs> Help me. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? It's a long story, but I'll do my best to explain it to you. In song! What? My girlfriend Lulu laid some eggs that female pirates stole. They're stored away in water tanks and eel infested holes. To hatch them, you must take them to the laboratory guy. And now I leave this task to you, cause I'm about to die! Blech. Well. Okay then. That was... that was beautiful. Hey, douchebag! Link! What? I'm trying to get his attention. We're not here to listen to music, we're here to gather information. Show some respect. Do you know who we're talking to? This is Evan, leader of the Indiegogos. They're the most famous band in all of Termina. I'm sorry about my friend, sir. I thought your song was wonderful. Glad you think so. You may proceed. Uh, proceed with what? Well, am I getting a blowjob or not? Excuse me? I played you that faggy song. Now get over here and suck my dick. What? No! Then get the fuck out. I got shit to do. I can't believe what I'm hearing. What? You're surprised? Why do you think I play this gay-ass music? Because I like it? Do I look like I enjoy the taste of semen? Can you at least help us find Lulu's eggs? That bitch? Hell no. I'm sick of her always stealing the spotlight. I hope she dies and I hope her kids die too. Wow. What a dick. Congratulations, sir. Link just called you a dick. Do you know the things this boy has done? Here's an idea. Why don't you try closing your mouth? Preferably around my cock. I used to respect you. You were a role model to me. But now I see you for what you truly are. You're just a selfish pig blinded by your own ego. I'm not blinded by my ego. I'm blinded by the A button. What? This thing is blocking my goddamn face! Well, maybe the drummer will be more helpful. He couldn't be worse than the last guy. 
I'll give you some help if you play my game. Keeping up with the beat is my claim to fame. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Link, are you? No! It won't take long. You can spare some time. All you have to do is talk to me in rhythm and rhyme. I'm not playing your game, you obnoxious shit. You just did, my friend. Okay, that's it. That's a pretty good rhyme. You must be really smart. Wait, what's with the sword? It's going through your heart. <laughs> Wow, a lot of hostility. Shut up! I'm not playing this jackass's stupid rhythm minigame. What is it with these goddamn musicians? I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying all the music. <gasps> oh my gosh, could you imagine if this became a musical episode? No! But what if we just- No, no, no! We're not turning this into a goddamn musical! Whoa, okay. Why are you so opposed to the idea of a musical anyways? You don't understand, okay? It's just that... It's just... <sighs> it all started a long time ago. Wait, are you about to sing? I once loved musicals I went to many plays At least until that fate Full day I went behind the stage To meet the cast and crew And then they kicked me in the face and took my money Oh And that is why I hate musicals Well, sorry to hear about that yeah, thanks. Just promise me one thing. What? Please never sing again. Fuck you! I only say it because I care. Well, I don't, so keep your goddamn opinions to yourself. So, we're meeting with the bass guitarist next, right? Yeah, and if he tries to waste my time like the last two guys, I swear to God. Yeah, sure, man. I'll help you. Wait, are, are you serious? Yeah, man. You need to find the Gerudo Pirates? I'd be more than happy to help you out. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. You have no idea how many- IN SONG! <laughs> Link, we need to talk about the impulsive killing. No! We do not need to talk about the impulsive killing! We need to talk to someone who knows where I can find the Gerudo Pirates, where I can find Lulu's eggs, and what I can do to progress this goddamn story! That's what we've been doing. Without playing me a goddamn song! But this band is the best lead we have. Fuck this band! These guys are useless! One of them's dead, one of them is an asshole, and the other two, oh, the other two, are also dead. I was gonna say annoying as hell, but that one is also true. And you just murdered them both, with, without even giving them a chance to talk. And my god, was it totally worth it. But now we have no leads. I don't care. I'm gonna ask every goddamn person in Termina if I have to. And one of these idiots is gonna give me some answers. Can you help me? No. Can you help me? No. Can you help me? Yes, I'd be more than happy. To Never mind. Can you help me? No. Can you help? <coughs> Sorry about that. Tourette's. So, can you? No. Can you help me? No. Can you help me? No. Can you help me? What? No. Can you help me? Sure. Silence. <coughs> can you help me? No. Can you help me? Yes. Awesome. But not yet. Shit. Can you help me? Hmm. Me? Yes. How? By ending this bit. It's not funny anymore. Okay. I can help you out. Really? Yes. Quick question. You're not a musician, are you? That depends. Do you consider my penis an instrument? I am going to let that statement sink in for a moment. Do you need something? I masturbate frequently! Do you need something? Pictures! Of what? Pirates! Female pirates! I don't know where they are. That's why I'm asking for help. I'll show you where they are. Now go there and photograph them. And don't forget to knock them out first. Why do I need to knock them out? They will capture you if you don't. Actually, I have a mask that turns me invisible. Knock them out anyways! But I'll be invisible. It's not like I'll need to- No! They must be unconscious! My penis demands it! Dude, what the fuck? And before you say anything, yes, I am indeed a strange man with strange interests, and prefer to keep this exchange private. If you supply me these pictures, and uphold your informal oath of secrecy, I shall provide you with one of my many seahorses, for I am an avid collector of seahorses, another one of my many interests. Why the hell would I want a seahorse? It will lead you to the location of Lulu's eggs. Wait, why didn't I tell you I was looking for Lulu's eggs? You didn't! Then how did you know I was- Because fuck consistency! <laughs> Look at my fucking arms! Okay. And now that the children are assembled, let the new wave bossa nova commence!
that is enough. What the, did you... Did you just blow up the children? Calm down, Tattle. Why would you do that? You know how I feel about the music, Tattle. I needed to learn the song, and I did. And that's all I needed to learn. I'm not sitting through the whole goddamn performance. Not another one, not again. But when Lulu finds out, she's going She'll to- She'll think they're alive if we play the song. But- They were going to die anyways, Tattle. But you could have saved them. Why? So I could go back in time and undo the whole thing? Well, I guess when you put it that way, it would- It would be entirely pointless. Nothing I'm doing here matters in the long run, so just let me have this, okay? Okay. So, are you gonna- Shh. Tattle? I am trying to savor the moment. In case anyone's wondering, I'm still here. Now I can help you! How so? By taking you to the temple. Getting there by traditional means would be impossible, on account of the magic barrier surrounding it. The pirates have been trying for weeks to penetrate the thing. Onward, tiny boat! Towards the magical whirling winds of death. Spoiler alert, they're dead. <laughs> but that's where I come in. I can take you there on my unprotected back. Won't I get blown off? Don't be silly. Turtles are impervious to wind. That sure was a temple, all right. Now we get to meet the third giant. Greetings, people of Termina. Tabrapa? The one and only. I didn't expect to see you here. All right. It's about time Xana finally gave you a cameo. Actually, he didn't. In fact, he's not even aware I'm voicing this character. What? What are you talking about? You see, I've basically hijacked this episode from Xana. And by hijacked, I mean I locked him in a room with angry chimpanzees. Why? Revenge, that's why! That'll teach him to never give me a cameo. After all the ones I've given him. Now this episode belongs to me! So, you're taking over this episode because he never gave you a cameo. That is mostly the reason, I suppose. Mostly the reason? Well, what's the other- Also this! And now my work is complete. What the hell was that? It was but one of many subliminal conquests. A step on the road to a new world order. And I, as the chosen leader of this conquest- Self-chosen. Shall stop at nothing to achieve this goal. Blood shall be shed, kingdoms shall fall, and the air will be filled with the constant serenade of high-pitched giggling! And in the end, all shall bow before the glory of their pink equine overlord. Okay, have fun! Should we be concerned? Nah. Why? You think Santa will be okay? No, I just don't care. You're ugly and I hate you! Why? Because douche! Okay, now tell me what to do. Wake up that skeleton! Well, how do we do that? I don't know, you figure it out. Well, gee, thanks for the help, you personification of an infected scab. <gasps> how dare you! My mother was a scab! Link, calm down. No need to insult the guy. I mean, waking up a giant skeleton can't be that hard to figure out. I'm sure if we put our heads together, we can come up with something. Maybe you could try playing the Sonata of Awakening. WAKE UP! <laughs> Or you could try that. Ow, oh, my, my fucking, fucking head. head! I am Captain Kida, leader of many skeletons. Congratulations, Hero of Time, for defeating me in combat. What do I win? A tiny replica of my face. May it serve you well. Uh, thanks? Wear it proudly. It is now your job to carry on my legacy. Your legacy? You're retiring. Yes. Why? My destiny has been fulfilled. You see, thousands of years ago, my men and I were involved in a great war. In this war, I was defeated in battle, and have waited here ever since to redeem myself. I was waiting for the day a worthy opponent would awake me from my slumber, and challenge me in combat. And? And now I've been defeated by a ten-year-old child. I am extremely ashamed of myself and no longer wish to be captain. Or to live. Yeah, I'd be ashamed of myself too. But, hey, you win some, you lose some. In your case, you lost your dignity, your title, and several valuable chunks of bone, but what are you gonna do? That's just what happens when you challenge someone who never loses. Really? Never loses. Well, the people who do beat me never live to talk about it, so as far as history is concerned, yes, I never lose. Huh. So, 
Um, what was your name again? Skullkita? Yes. What are you gonna do now that you're no longer captain? I don't know. Probably die. What about your men? They're your men now. I'm leaving you in charge. Awesome! Permission to die, sir? Permission granted. Thank you. So, what now? Time to rob some graves! Hey there, soldier. Greetings, Captain! What are you doing? Guarding this grave like you told us to, sir! Excellent work! Permission to ask you a question, sir! Go ahead. Why do you have the body of a 10-year-old boy? Dieting. You look fabulous, sir! Thank you! Now open this grave. Open the grave? Yes. Sir, you do realize that would require us to destroy it. Yep. And you do realize that these graves were constructed for members of the royal family. Uh-huh. The people whose graves you were ordered to protect. You got it. Sir, I find this situation horribly suspicious. But... No, sir, that's it. I find the situation horribly suspicious. Oh. You're not the real Captain Kita, are you? You're a smart little skeleton man. I'll give you that. But allow me to offer some advice. The question you should be asking yourself isn't whether or not I'm the real Captain Kita. Rather, the question you should be asking is whether or not my newfound authority grants me the power to have you charged with treason and painfully clawed to shreds by the rest of the army. And I can answer that question for you right now. Yes. I can do that. So, um... Open the grave? You're a great listener. What the hell? Where's the treasure? I've been in here at least 30 minutes and the closest thing I've received to a reward is a giant axe to the face. This has got to be the worst royal grave that I've ever robbed. What? You've done this before? I've done this before? What the hell do you think? No, I, I know what you said. I'm just surprised is all. Really? You're surprised? Well, yeah. <sighs> Tattle, what the fuck happened? What do you mean? What what happened to what? Your personality. What the fuck happened to it? You had like this quirky like, ooh, I'm ready for an adventure thing going on, and now you're all like, oh gosh, I can't believe you did that. I is that like your new shtick or something? Because this is getting ridiculous. I don't understand. What's so ridiculous about wanting no, to- No, 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 no. Let me talk. Because I'm going to answer your question. Yes, Tattle. I have done this before. I have robbed royal graves in the past. I am greedy, I am selfish, I hurt people for my own amusement. No shit have I done this before. Let me ask you a question, Tattle. Does me admitting to doing this kind of thing in the past honestly surprise you? Does any horrid act I commit honestly surprise you? Because your primary role as of late seems to boil down to reacting in moral objection to whatever fucked up disturbing thing I do or say. Oh my gosh, Link, I can't believe you'd kill a baby. I can't believe you'd blow up these children. I can't believe you'd rob a grave. Really, Tattle? You can't believe I'd do those things. Why? Why is that, Tattle? I have established myself as a sociopathic scumbag since the moment we first met. Yet, lately, it seems every time I mention doing something morally reprehensible, you react to it like it's new information. Like you're somehow shocked I could do something so terrible. I don't know, I thought we had like a comedic back and forth thing going on. You say something douchey and I react to it. And that's all you ever seem to fucking do these days, isn't it? You know, I seem to recall another partner I had. Her name was Navi. She was stupid and she annoyed the fuck out of me, but people liked her. She was funny. The audience? They commented on her all the time. But who comments about you, Tattle? No one. You know why? Because you're boring, and your fucking reactionary shtick is getting old. This is why no one likes you, Tattle. This is why they will never love you like they love Navi. Get a fucking personality, for God's sake! Well? You got something to say? Tattle? Don't, don't you have something you want to say in retaliation? Tattle? Come on, you have to talk about something. What about that ghost over there? You want to talk about him? Look at that mustache. That thing is just wacky. You have to have some kind of comment to make about that. Tattle, you're scaring me. Is this about time? Probably, but start talking anyways. I want to finish this adventure as quickly as possible. Very well then! I am flat. <laughs> what? <laughs> have you ever considered- And if you respond with, have you ever considered breast implants, I'll impale your head on a dirty pike. <laughs> your name is easily mockable. God damn it! I'm dead and people are still making that stupid joke. I thought I was done with this shit after grade school. Hey, I didn't name you. Blame your parents. I do. I hate my parents. I hate my whole damn family. Especially my brother. And now I feel like bitching about him, so you're going to sit there and listen to me! Or I could just leave. And miss out on important plot details you need to progress? 
Bitch, I don't think so. Damn it. Many centuries ago, my brother Sharp made a deal with the devil. Wait a second, there's a Hylian devil? That shit's canon. Yes, indeed it is. I'm not even kidding. Look at that text. It's the actual fucking devil. What did your brother ask for? The power to create music so terrible it literally causes people physical pain. Why? Because for some reason, objectively awful music makes obscene amounts of money. Have you seen the modern pop industry? So he did it for cash? Damn right he did that sellout piece of shit. He sacrificed his perfectly respectable music career for immediate wealth and success. When I found out what he did, I was so outraged I composed a song that changes the weather. And thus, the Song of Storms was created. I'm not quite sure how the song was relevant to the situation, but goddamn is that shit catchy. And what does this have to do with me? My brother is currently holed up in a nearby cave, and his presence in that cave is restricting the flow of water through the canyon. And you need the water to activate the device that prevents the Gibdos from circling that house. It is there you shall find the next crucial plot device. I know this because ghost magic. So, what do I do? Find my brother and tell him to stop being an asshole! If that doesn't work, try playing the Song of Storms. Okay, sounds like a plan. Ready to go, Tattle? Tattle? The hell? Tattle? Are you talking about the fairy? Yeah. She's over there in the corner of the room. What's she holding? It looks like a bottle of cyanide pills. Oh shit! <laughs> so, um, yeah. Forgot about the whole, uh, you being suicidal thing. So, uh, sorry, I guess. Feeling better? I'm crying on the inside. Good enough, let's go. Welcome, foolish mortal, to the lair of Sharp. I'm Sharp, by the way. Bring back the water and stop being a dick. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, yes. No shit. Too bad, this is my lair, and I do as I please. Now leave, trespasser, before I assault your ears with one of my many auditory abominations. Yeah? Like what? Oh, I can tell you. But I think I'll just leave that to the audience. Wait, what? You heard right. Welcome to the audience participation portion of the episode. Which terrible song do you think Sharp is going to play? Guess correctly and you'll win Zen Uzumaki's undying love and approval. And we all know how important that is. Do you think he's going to play? A. Whistle by Flowrider. B. Ass by Big Sean. Or C. Pretty much anything by One Direction. To select your answer, look deep within your heart. But not too deep or you might bleed to death. You have five seconds to make your choice. Thank you for choosing. The correct answer is... All three! At the same time. Oh god, play the Song of Storms! Was that... my brother's song? Yep. Where did you learn that song? Your brother's ghost. You've spoken to him recently. I haven't seen my brother in centuries. Yep, he's buried back at the Incana graveyard. Young man, I want you to return to my brother and give him this message. It's something I've been meaning to tell him for a long time. Your brother told you to go fuck yourself. What? That little shit! Did you play the Song of Storms? Yep. Oh, god damn it! Hold on, I'll be right back. What are you doing? I'm going to put this pointy conductor's baton to good use. Just wait here. Sharp, you son of a bitch! Well, well. If it isn't my brother, Flat, what brings you- Ow! Oh god, what the fu- Oh god, this thing is surprisingly sharp. Oh, Jesus! Hey, oh, stop it! Stop it, hey, brother! This. Stop it! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, so oh, what happened to our brotherly bond? Go back the hell, you undead oh, bastard! Okay, I'm back. And so is the water. That was it? You solved the problem by stabbing him in the chest? Yes. I could have thought of that. Well, you didn't. Now break into that house. Okay. Breaking and entering is fun. Time to rummage through this guy's basement. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Bitch, you gonna die. You're a smart little skeleton, man. I'll give you that. But allow me to offer some advice. The question you should be asking isn't whether or not I'm the real Captain Kida. Rather, you should be asking whether or not my newfound ability grants me the power to have you charged with treason. Scruppy! Shut up! Seriously! You suck, I hate you! I am in the middle of a fucking Link rant! These rants are fucking important! 
I'm trying to do my lines, and you're all over here being hard. Wolf! Fucking wolf! You've got the highest fucking pitch, wolf, in the world because you're a tiny little fucking Maltese. You were designed to be as fucking irritating as possible. And I'm not setting a great example for you by yelling this loudly. I love you. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. <clears throat> that was very fun. Previously, yeah. bitch, you gonna die. And now the intro. <laughs> Wait, stop. Stay away from my father. Who the fuck are you? My name is Pamela. Okay, Xana, what the hell is this? What? What kind of little girl voice is that? I'm not a little girl. I'm a transvestite midget. Oh. Please don't harm him. He's not aware of his actions. What happened to him? He was cursed by the Gibdos inside Inkana's well. What the hell was he doing in there? Inside that well exists a mysterious labyrinth, and legends speak of a magic shield that lies somewhere within. Many have sought to obtain this shield, but were attacked and cursed by the Gibdos inside, eventually becoming Gibdos themselves. My father has suffered the same fate. Then step out of the way and let me kill the son of a bitch! Wait! Don't kill him! He isn't fully transformed yet! All the more reason to kill him now! You know, before he becomes an actual threat? You don't understand! I may still be able to save him before it's too late. I know I can find a cure. I just need more time. Please, my father means everything to me. If you have any shred of compassion, any sense of empathy, if you can just look deep within your heart... And then I can use this guy's bandage to disguise myself as a Gibdo. Pretty crazy, huh? That I did that? Right? Are you mad? Go fuck yourself. So what, you're just gonna throw a hissy fit now that Look, you're not- Look, I am really not in the mood for your bullshit right now. You know, we're supposed to be a team. What happens if I need help or Look, so if you need help targeting enemies, or you need advice during combat, I'll help you. I'm just really not in the mood for conversation right now, okay? Fine. I didn't want to talk to you anyways. I got a shield that needs collecting. Time to go trick some Gibdos. Greetings, greetings fellow, fellow Gibdo. Gibdo! Greetings, you gullible fuck. What? what? I said greetings, you gullible fuck. Oh. oh. Well, well, why did why you, did you call, call me that? that? You figure it out. What's, What's with your, your voice? voice? What about it? It's, it's not, not echoing, echoing like, like mine. mine. I have a cold. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Really? That actually fucking worked. What, what worked? worked? Again, you figure it out. Um, um okay. okay. Well, well, um, um do, you do you need, need anything? anything? I need to get through this door. Sure, sure thing, thing, friend. friend. Alright. But, but first, first... Wait, first? I'll, I'll open, open this door. door. But, but first, first, you gotta, gotta bring me some milk. What? I said, I said I'll, I'll open, open the door, door if you bring, you bring me some- No, 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 I heard what you said. Just... Why? It's, it's my, my favorite, favorite drink. drink. But what are you gonna do with it? Stare at it until it spoils? No, no I'm, gonna I'm gonna drink, drink it. it. How? You're dead! You can't digest food! Sounds, Sounds to, to me, me like, like someone, someone doesn't, doesn't want to get, get through this door. door. Okay, you know what? Fine. You want milk? I'll get you some fucking milk. Where do I find some? If you, if you go, go down, down that, that hall and turn to the right, there's, there's another, another door. door. Behind, Behind it lies, lies a cow. cow. Milk, milk it and return, return its, its contents, contents to, me. to me. Okay, fine. I'll be right back. Goddamn son of a fucking... Ugh. Greetings, fellow Gibdo. Let me through. I need some milk. Oh, I'll, I'll let you get your milk. milk. But first... What do you mean, first? I'd like, I'd like you to, to bring, bring me some bugs. Bugs? What the hell do you need with bugs? Well, if you must know, ever since I was a child, I would spend hours upon hours covering myself head to toe. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'll get you some bugs. Just... Just tell me where to find them. Travel down the hallway to your left, and then take a right. There you shall find room filled with bugs. Okay, fine. I'll head that way now. Damn fucking bug! Ugh! Greetings, fellow. Get me the fuck in. I need some bugs. Very well. If it is bugs you want, then it is bugs you shall get. Thank you. But first... No! There is no first! First does not fucking exist! All I want is a blue potion. Okay, fine! And how do I get that? Well, first, first you have you to have leave to the, leave the well, well and collect and some mushrooms. Whoa! Hold the phone! I have to leave the well. It's, it's not, not that, that far away. away. Well, how fucking far away is it? Well, once, well, once you, you enter the, the southern, southern swamp, swamp and walk past the- The southern swamp?! That's like two fucking temples ago! Look, Look I'm, I'm sorry, sorry man. man, I just I wanted a little- No, no, it's fine, really. I don't fucking mind. Is there anything else I can bring you? Maybe some filet mignon? Or the fucking Mona Lisa, perhaps? How about a Playboy? And some lube to help you jerk off? Don't even bother using your hands! I'll just jerk you off myself! In fact, you can just shove your maggot-ridden penis in my mouth and ejaculate dust down my goddamn throat! 
Well, I mean, if you're offering, then I guess- No, I'm not fucking offering! You're an asshole and I hate you! Why am I bringing you idiots these items? What do you even need them for? Why does this maze even exist? It's like it was created for the sole purpose of wasting my fucking time! Come on, man. It'll only take you like an hour or two to pick up some- No! Fuck you! Fuck this maze! Fuck this fetch quest! Burn! Oh my gosh, the door actually opened. Huh. I guess I could've just gotten through by setting them on fire in the first place. Well, that was a fucking waste of time! TRANSITION! God damn it! When the fuck do we reach the temple? I thought this was the temple. No, it is merely the pre-temple. To enter the real temple, you must first defeat me! What? Another skeleton? I'm not just any skeleton! I'm a skeleton with a beard! TWO BEARDS! Oh shit. I better watch out then, huh? You're damn right you better watch out! You better watch your ass! Cause I'm gonna kick it! You see these feet? These are the feet that'll kick your ass! You see this sword? This is the sword that'll kick your ass! You see these curtains? Those are- Okay, well those won't kick your ass, those are just curtains. But these guys will! They'll kick your ass real good! Yeah, kick your ass! Tell them, buddy! And don't you forget it! And if you think for a second, oh, these guys totally won't kick my ass, well, you got another thing coming! Cause we'll do it! We totally will! Hell, we'll do more than just kick your ass! We'll so, uh, what's this guy weak against? Light? So, shoot the curtains? First. Yep, I'll shoot the curtains. Okay. And then I'll treat your ass to a lovely evening of champagne and B-movies- OH GOD, LIGHT! And now I'm a ghost head. Yep. Why did I even have those windows installed? I don't know. That was incredibly stupid. No matter! We still have plan B! And what, pray tell, is plan B? Wait, let me guess. You're gonna fly towards me and gnaw on my ankles, and then continue that process until I die of laughter. Is that it? Well, I suppose alternatively you could headbutt me or something, but that's not gonna do you much good against a sword now, is it? So, please, whatever backup plan you have, tell me, because I would just love to see- Poof. Ah! Poof. Where the fuck am I? That's right, unnamed lackey! Our young hero has been transported to a horrifying pocket dimension. There, he shall be forced to roam a hellish recreation of Termina, all the while being hunted relentlessly by the most terrifying being ever spawned from the darkest depths of hell itself. Sir, we already know how the pocket dimension works. I am aware of that! Then why did you just explain all that? Because in the hypothetical scenario that a group of people were watching this exact moment, you know, like a movie or some shit, then they would know exactly what just happened! Sir, that's crazy. I am crazy! <laughs> I'm back. What the- how? What?! Severed head for your thoughts? Dear God! What did you do to him?! <laughs> Trust me, dude, you do not want me to answer that question. You! Fairy! What did he do to him? Answer me! I'll never sleep again. Never. I'd give her a minute or two. She's still in shock over what just happened. Not that I blame her. But I trapped you in a pocket dimension with the most terrifying creature ever conceived! Oh, please. My soul is far more terrifying than that thing. How did you escape? It wasn't that hard. What the hell is this place? Did I just get transported to hell by a statue? You'll wish you were in hell soon enough. Who the fuck are you? Who I am is not important. Rather, it is what I represent. I am the embodiment of all that is wicked. I am the living incarnation of evil. I am a force far beyond mere mortal comprehension. Ow! Fuck! Did you just hit me with the hilt of your sword? Who the fuck hits people with the hilt? Seriously! God! What is wrong with you? Ow! You shouldn't have done that. And then, after beating him repeatedly with the hilt of the sword, and then proceeded to- No, 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 God, please, no. I, I do not want to relive that. So, what else have you got for me? Men, backup plan. That was the backup plan. Then make a new backup plan. You're the leader. Why don't you make one? I'm too scared. Well, I got nothing. <laughs> What's that, pal? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> the one behind the couch? <laughs> was that before Tuesday, or... <laughs> What's he saying? I have no goddamn idea. Damn! Uh, well, well you, uh... You may think this is over, but you're mistaken. You still have to face a... a, a giant worm monster! <laughs> uh, two giant worm monsters? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. You win. Here's Twin Mold's remains. Go talk to the giant. Thank you. All I'm saying is sure, she bakes both cupcakes and muffins. But you can't have both. 
to make one is to disgrace the other, and that is blasphemy. But doesn't crucifixion seem a little harsh? That pink bitch deserves to die! Okay, sorry! How is it that your idiot friend is more intimidating than you? Because he's really threatening looking? Or have you considered it's just because you are a spineless weakling? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Shut! Up! Hey look, it's my sister and that other guy. What? How's it hanging? How on earth did you fight? Wait, I turned you into a Deku scrub. Why aren't you a Deku scrub? The mask salesman. Oh, fuck my life, really? What? I should have known he would have enlisted his help. So, what do you know about the mask salesman? Yeah, didn't you two travel together for a while? <gasps> Wait a second, did he hurt your feelings? It's none of your business, slave! Well, I think it is my business, Bajora, because as your friend, I feel it is my- Dear God, I am not your friend! Shut your bullshit spewing anus of a mouth or so help me I will- No, don't you dare hit my brother! What are you talking about? I wasn't going to- Wait a second. <laughs> Holy crap, that felt awesome! No, stop- Oh, God damn, that is pure catharsis! Oh, come on! You know, I'm gonna miss this. Can we just get this over with? Okay, fine. You're such a buzzkill. Ha! Huh, you think you can harm me that easily? Nothing can stop the- Wait, did you display- Sup, dick! Oh, shit! Majora watched in frustration as the giants thwarted his evil plan, protecting Termina from the collapse of his very, very grumpy moon. You all right down there, Link? You know, I, uh, I gotta say, I've, uh, have been better. Ah, oh, God. What now, Majora? We stopped your moon. Now you have nothing left to threaten us with. Oh, no! Whatever will I do? I'm all shaken up like an abused baby. I guess I'll just have to, oh, I don't know, make it fall faster! Wait, you can do that? Of course I can do that! Behold my full power! Oh, tits! The giants question their ability to hold out much longer. Hurry up and defeat him already! Don't worry. Considering who I'm up against, I'm pretty convinced this will be the quickest battle of my entire life. How dare you underestimate me! Right, I'm underestimating you. Because the guy you're controlling right now is totally worthy of my concern. Because when I think Harbinger of Darkness, I think Asperger's Pinocchio. Silence! Don't you dare- <laughs> Ah! Man, you sure do like to hit people. I refuse to stand here! Actually, we're floating. Whatever, float here! And be disrespected! When I am disrespected, there are consequences! Wow, you're kind of a violent person, aren't you? Where the fuck have you been?! I'm a goddamn god of goddamn evil! Goddamn! I'm just saying, Majora, you never talk through your problems, you just immediately resort to violence and insults, and I feel it negatively affects your ability to communicate with other people. Wait, 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 wait just a goddamn minute! You, a socially inept animated tree stump, are lecturing me on my social skills! Yep. Majora? FUCK THIS! Ow. How you of all people managed to incapacitate the salesman, I'll never know. Although granted you did make for a very subservient puppet. I got no strings to hold me down. Seriously though, I'm done with this. If anyone needs me, I'll be on the moon. Jeez, what a coward. Can you believe this guy, Tattle? Tattle? Tail, are you alright? Hi, sister. Quick, what's two plus two? Muffins. Oh, thank God you're okay. How is worried Majora seriously hurt you? Oh, don't worry. I've been through worse. Remember the time Skull Kid and I played past the rattlesnake? I liked it when we got all dizzy. Until we started projectile vomiting. I know. Please don't remind me. Hey, not that I'm one to empathize with the suffering of others or anything, but I don't think the giants can hold out much longer. Seriously! Hurry the fuck up! Don't worry, Tail. We'll be back soon. Wait, sister! What is it? There's something I want to tell you before you fight Majora. I don't know what you'll find inside that moon, and I'm still not entirely sure what the word canyon means. But if there's one thing I am certain of, it's this. Life is like a banana nut muffin. And... what? Oh, hi sister! Never mind. Come on, Link, let's go. Link? Yes, Tattle? What? Just... What? I don't know, maybe we're in some kind of... Hello. Whoa! Jeez, what the heck are you? May I ask you a question? Uh, sure. 
What makes you happy? Uh, violence and suffering, I guess. And the things that make you happy. Do they make other people happy too? No, typically the opposite tends to be true. <laughs> <laughs> You're an interesting young man. Tattle, what's going on right now? The single most unsettling experience of my entire life. Agreed. This place puts random cloud world to shame. Random cloud world? It's a long story. You remind me a lot of my friend, you know. What friend? Majora. He's sitting underneath the tree. He doesn't like to play with the rest of us, but maybe he'll play with you. I feel you two have much in common. You should go talk to him. Yeah, I'll go do that. I wonder how many gerbils I could impale with my face spikes. Hey, Majora! I refuse to play hopscotch, you miserable little- Oh, it's you. Okay, question. Uh, tree, children, you, I mean, what is this? Is this like your true form or something? Oh, please. If this were my true form, you'd already have an otherworldly tentacle embedded in your lung. So what, you just want to talk or something? I mean, what even is all this? You mind telling me what the hell's going on? It's his fault, you know. Whose fault? You know who I mean. Our mutual friend. The mask salesman? No, Willy fucking Wonka. Who the hell do you think? It's his fault you're here. Hey, last time I checked, I'm here because you and that socially retarded twig took my stuff. You think it makes a difference whether or not we met in the woods? One way or another, you would have ended up in Termina. He would have made sure of that. Oh, really? Yes, really! Why? Why do you think? Because you're the only one capable of stopping me, Mr. Hero of Time! Hey, don't blame me. I didn't ask for this Hero of Time bullshit. Of course I don't blame you! If anything, I empathize greatly with your plight. I too know what it is to feel contempt. Contempt for the forces that wish to guide our destinies. You see, Link, we're not so Oh, fuck no! Really? What? My god, of all the cliches- you're really gonna try to do it. You're really gonna try to pull the whole we're not so different you and I speech on me. What are you talking about? No, I know what you're trying to do. You want to gain my sympathy in some last minute pathetic attempt to dissuade me from stopping you. You know what? No. I had to go through four temples, an endless barrage of fetch quests, and more assholes than a proctologist to get to this point. And not just any proctologist, mind you, a retiring proctologist reflecting upon an entire life's worth of anal penetration, yet you actually think I'm dumb enough to be persuaded by we're not so different, you and I. I wasn't going to say that, you presumption! It's worm! Okay, then what were you gonna say? I was going to say that we're not so. Um. Um. You were totally gonna say it. Shut up! I was going to say that we're not so far from. Um. Being similar. Fuck you. Can I just make my point? No, you don't have a point. Oh, really? I don't have a point. Bitch, I know chaotic evil when I see it. We are far more alike than you may think. I ask you, hero, do you not experience joy at the sight of gore and violence? Well, of course I do. And does the sight of another suffering not make your dick harder than diamond? Well, that just goes without saying. Ew. And then there's the mask salesman. You despise him, don't you? Well, of course I do. I don't want some smiling jackass telling me what to do. It's infuriating, isn't it? Being controlled. Being used as a tool to further some omnipotent businessman's agenda! Yeah, no shit it's infuriating. I don't think he's talking about you, Link. I refuse to return to that man! I am a spirit of chaos and destruction, not some red-haired demigod's lapdog! Okay, so I hate him, you hate him, what do you want? Join me, Link! With my power and your douche, we shall kill the salesman together! You want to kill the salesman? Yes! And then, with no one left to stand in our way, we shall emerge from the ruined remains of Termina, free to roam the world, spreading fear and suffering to all who stand before us. What do you say to my proposal? Nope. Then let us venture forth to- Wait, nope! I'm offering you the chance to fuck shit up! What more do you want? You want me to take on the entity that can manipulate time and space, and I'm expected to accomplish this incredibly dangerous task, mind you, alongside a power-starved maniac with the physical and mental restraint of a rabid Rottweiler having a seizure. Hey, I'm perfectly capable- Shut up, I'm not finished. Even if we can defeat the mask salesman, then what? Okay, so Termina gets fucked, the salesman's out of the picture, and we emerge from the ruins the only survivors. Then we travel from place to place, fucking shit up and ruining lives, and it's great, we're happy, it's sunshine and rainbows, and Care Bears eating Skittles for us both. Oh, except one thing. There's fucking two of us. What are we gonna do, share the carnage? Dude, I don't share. And I'm sure as hell not sharing with someone as equally power-hungry as me. 
You see, eventually we're just going to find ourselves in the same position we are now, fighting over, well, whatever the heck it is we'd be fighting over at that point. Maybe a strip of land, maybe some bitches, who knows. Except, now there's no one to hold you by the leash when everything's said and done. But, let's say I stop you right now. I return you to the mask salesman, he lets me go, and I get my immediate and oh-so-satisfying vengeance. I mean, killing you in a power struggle is nice and all, but as punishment for the man who stole my horse in Ocarina, it leaves a lot to be desired. But slavery? Submission to a higher authority? Mm-mm, that is a delicious punishment. You're still mad at me about the woods? Are you really that fucking petty? What can I say? I have a very strong sense of justice. So that's how it's going to be. My freedom versus yours. Very well. But if you think I'm going to surrender that easily, if you think I'm just going to lay back and accept defeat, you greatly underestimate what the almighty Majora is capable of- Yeah, by the way, the moon is gonna crash in like a minute, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna cut your irrelevant speech short and just get this over with. What the hell is taking so long? Oh, my eyes. The hell was that? Bullshit! That rainbow explosion was totally staged! Ugh, god, my head. You did it, Link! What? You defeated Majora and saved Termina! You know shit I did. What did you, Majora, or anyone else expect? When the fuck is the hero ever defeated? Way to go, Link! You did good! Oh, it's you guys. Thanks for your help. Ah, eh, don't mention it. Well, I wasn't going to. Well, we best be heading off now, so we'll be seeing you. Hey, guys! Oh. Hey. I haven't talked to you guys in years! Yeah. Remember when we hung out that one time, and I told you all about my toothpick collection and that fan fiction I was writing? Right, that, uh, Death Note thing. Well, this is great! Now we can finally spend some quality time together after- Oh, hey, what's that in the distance I hear? It sounds like the O2 order. I don't hear anything. Oh, darn, if only we could hang out, but you know, giant person errands and whatnot. Okay, bye! You see, Tail? I told you they didn't forget about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. What about you, scary green person? Do you want to be my friend? Come any closer and I'll stab you in the eye. And threat acknowledged. You've done a great deal in a small time span. What the? Dude, have you just been standing there this whole time? Ah, Majora. I missed having you as my bitch. There's still much work left to be done. I want to thank you, Link, for your help. Gods of chaos like Majora can be quite difficult to control. But in the right hands, their powers can be used quite constructively. You did very well, defeating Majora and returning him to me. Not that I expected anything less. Uh, thanks. And with that said, I shall take my leave. Where are you going? Nowhere that concerns you. Your role in all this is complete, and I doubt I'll be needing your services in the future. Well, bye then, I guess. Bye, Mr. Salesman! I want to apologize for violently robbing you of the woods. If there's anything I could do to make it Shut your filthy mouth, you parasitic little bottom feeder! Your incompetence nearly cost me one of my greatest assets and doomed the entire population of Termina to destruction! When my current objective is complete, I promise to return to this land and enact upon you my vengeance. I will subject your body to the highest degree of pain my powers are capable of administering. And until that day, I wish upon you a life of unending misery and torment. I hope you fall down three flights of stairs and break both your kneecaps. I hope an infant bomb chew crawls in your eye socket and detonates. I hope your anus is penetrated repeatedly by a termite-covered scimitar until your insides hemorrhage and you die, gargling to death on the tree sap blood that runs through your little wooden veins. Yay! I left an impression on someone. I'd be concerned if I were you. Oh, I'll be fine. My two best friends will help protect me. Isn't that right, Tattle? Wait, why am I friends with you again? What? Because he kidnapped you in the woods and you succumbed to Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, yeah. Tattle? Fuck off! Hey! Tail, how would you like to move somewhere really, really far away from Skull Kid? Come on, Tail! You wouldn't abandon your bestest friend in the whole world, would you? Yay, road trip! So that's how it's gonna be! And after everything I did for you! You held us against our will until we befriended you! Did I, Tattle? Did I? Yes! With a rope! And a shiv you made from a pointy stick! Yeah, I'd be afraid of myself too. <sighs> I suppose it was fun while it lasted. Oh well, I guess I'll be seeing you later then, Mask Sales. Oh, I, I guess he just spontaneously vanished. Yeah, he's kind of horrifying that way. Oh well, good luck with the unimaginable pain and such. Thank you! Well, both of us have gotten what we were after. 
I got my brother and you got your revenge, so I guess this is where we part ways, isn't it? Yep. Well, bye! Wait, what about your rant? What rant? The one about me. What about it? Well, aren't we gonna address it? Why would we do that? I don't know, I figured we would, seeing as this is the last time we'll ever see each other. Nope, not sure why you'd think that. I just figured there'd be some kind of resolution there or something. I mean, the rant was like three minutes long. It's a Zelda abridged parody. What did you expect? Emotional depth? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Xana will get right on that as soon as my facial expression changes. Until then, if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, I recommend, I don't know, actual art. You can't just tell someone I hate everything about you and never bring it up again. What kind of anticlimactic bullshit is that? Hey, I didn't say I hate everything about you. I said you were boring. I mean, I'll admit arguing with you was kind of fun every once in a while. And it was nice not having an idiot partner for a change. It was... I don't know... Refreshing? Oh. Well, thank you. I still hate you, though. But well, then again, I hate everybody. Come on, horse slave. Giddy up. Why hast thou forsaken me? Hey, sister. Yeah? I'm glad you're done saving the world. I missed you. <sighs> I missed you too, Tail. I missed you too, Tattle. Get the hell away from us! Apocalypse was prevented, and I'm still here, alone, in my observatory. Ah, <sighs> shit. Wait, who the heck are you? Hi there, my name is Skull Kid. I was just wandering aimlessly through other people's houses. Do you mind if I do that here? Of course not, man. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Mr. Wizard. Everyone else I have talked to has been extremely rude. Well, you know, they probably got things to do and, and lives and whatnot. I guess. So, can I get you anything, or maybe we can play a game? Do you like Monopoly? <gasps> Monopoly? That is my most favorite board game of all time! Wow, really? That's awesome, man! I'll... I'll go get the game right now! Hey, while you're doing that, do you mind if I tell you all about the Death Note fanfiction I've been writing? Hey, as long as you're talking to me, man, I don't give a shit! Excellent! Now, as everybody is well aware, the most significant problem with Death Note was the complete and total lack of homoerotic tension between La Yagami and L, but my story strives to remedy that. Huh, is that so? Indeed! See, chapter one begins with Light walking into a room to find L naked and covered head to toe in sugary snacks. Thus, Light responds to this.